I'd like to talk about the technology, technologies for reliable titanium alloy forging focusing on ultrasonic inspection in aerospace industry. I will briefly talk about the oil company, Kobe Steel. We are a leading company for commercially pure titanium and titanium alloy forging uh, alloy parts in Japan. Uh, we are regarding the manufacturing fac facilities of titanium alloy forgings. We have an integrated line from the VR melting to the final inspection. That means we can operate VR open die forging press, closed die forging press, ring rolling mill, and heat treatment furnace and inspection is equipment. This integrated line enables us to keep consistent quality design and quality control. And we, we have abundant uh, supply record in airframe and air engine. For example, uh, this is the uh, V2500 jet engine. We supplied a uh, fan case, uh, which is produced by Ring Rolling Mill. And we supplied, we have supplied more than 10,000 pieces since 1985. And also we have supplied the critical parts for engine. And we have supplied compressor discs and shafts, uh, more than 6,000 pieces since uh, 1986. And both parts are also, uh, both parts made from our internal ingots. Recently, we installed the new facilities. The more, one of the most important facility is the 50,000 pressing, uh, frozen press, uh, which is installed in the Japan Air Forge. And um, began operation, oops, sorry, 2013. Japan Air Forge is a uh, joint venture company established uh, by Kobe Steel and several other companies. Other facilities we installed are a heat treatment plant and inspection plant. These new facilities enable us, the, uh, us to provide a large titanium forgings uh, with meeting strict uh, specification uh, from the air, air, frame, air frame manufacturers. Uh, aircraft manufacturers. Uh, process, process design is key technology to provide high quality titanium forgings. Uh, forging parts are required mechanical properties and also ultrasonic inspection and microstructure characterization. In order to meet target properties, appropriate microstructure control has to be done. Because the microstructure is uh, governed by temperature, strain, strain rate, so uh, accurate FEM stimulation of forging is needed. And also, processing window, which indicates optimum range of process conditions to provide desired property and microstructure is essential. I will briefly talk about YFEM analysis technique of forging process. In order to predict press load and shape of forging parts and also microstructure and resulting mechanical properties. It is essential to obtain accurate history of temperature and plastic strain. One of the important things is using accurate stress strain data. These curves are experimental result obtained the thermal mechanical um, compression test. Usually these data include abiotic heating which raises the temperature of specimen, so stress becomes softer. It is important to use the isothermal flow stress curve, remove the heating from the uh, experimental data. 
These appropriate data enable us to obtain accurate distribution of temperature and plastic strain from FEM analysis. And processing design, a processing win window is established based on the good understanding and experimental database regarding the relationship among the properties and processing conditions, microstructures, and mechanical properties. I will briefly introduce some mechan uh, mechanical experimental facilities we have, we use. First of all, some mechanical simulator is used. It provides pl plenty of fundamental data, including the relationship between process conditions and microstructure evolutions. Next, we conduct the lab scale forging to investigate the, the mechanical properties. We can apply an isothermal forging, which enables us material keep material temperature keep homogeneous. Finally, microstructure characterization using SEM and EVSD is fundamental. And my, my microstructure is often optimized, uh, is optimized mainly to achieve better mechanical properties, but also ultrasonic inspection is strictly required for titanium forgings for cr critical parts such as engine disk. It is generally known that ultrasonic inspection is of titanium alloy is difficult. It is generally, uh, this is mainly due to the microstructure issue. So we have been developing the technology of processing design, improving the ultrasonic detectability. Our goal is to developing a technology which help us to take the best de processing design of forging process, uh, which consists of the shape, design of dyes and preform and process conditions to op optimize the mechanical properties and uh, ultrasonic detectability. The defect in titanium forgings are had alpha Hard alpha and clocks and voids. They are rarely occurred, but it has the potential to cause catastrophic aircraft engine. And this is a schematic drawing of A scan of the ultrasonic inspection. And defects generate this kind of signals, but unfortunately, in microstructure of titanium also generated these similar signals. Sometimes uh, this masks the uh, signals from the defects, and it is difficult to distinguish the, these two signals. The, there are many parameters which influence on the ultrasonic detectability regarding material issue. Material issue. Uh, f physical properties like density, wave speed, and attenuation influence, and microstructure issue like grain size, grain shape, and the texture also influence. There are many uh, parameters uh, regarding the inspection characteristics. These so many uh, so many parameters makes behavior complicated. This is a microstructure of the uh, beta forged TIE 646 alloy. It is well known this alloy has a good strength and toughness balance, so it is used for the engine disk. But it also known the beta forged titanium alloy uh, is a difficult to inspection. It is mainly due to uh, microstructure issue. So, we have investigated the effect of microstructure on ultrasonic noise, and the prediction technique regarding ultrasonic noise is considered. This is an experimental result. 
We conduct isothermal upset forgings at the temperature above the beta transverse to the several reduction in height. Here are the microstructure of the forgings after SDA heat treatment. Left side is the microstructure after reduction of 0%, which means just heating up to the forging temperature and then cooled. So its beta grain uh, has a equiaxed shape. And uh, after upset forging, the beta grain, the shape of beta grain changed to the flattened shape. And um, cubic coupon are taken from the isothermal forging pancake and then ultrasonic inspection were made, conducted. And this is a, this signal, this is, a, this is a result, and this is the signal from the, uh, generated from the microstructure. It is a noise, backscattering noise. And as you can see, uh, flattened grain generated a large backscattering noise, while equiaxed and grain doesn't generate backscattering noise. I don't mention detail this page, but based on, according to these experimental data, it was found that the shape of beta grain is the dominant factor. Then the model of predict backscattering noise was considered. To be modeled a flattened shape of beta grain, multi-layered model was used, in which planar grain boundary having infinite lengths aligned parallel to each other. Regions between adjacent boundaries were assumed to be grain. For the sound velocity, random value within the range of typical value of titanium alloy were assigned. It is an example of the simulation results. Here is the transmitter pulse and bottom echo and backscattering noise. It can be seen this model provides a similar profile to experimental results. All simulation can take into account any kind of grain shape. Next example is the one used the model consisting of grains similar to the actual microstructure. Left side is a model uh, simulating the, mic the, the case inspect the parallel to the forging direction. On the right side is a model the simulating the inspection perpendicular to the forging direction. These simulation models provide uh, profiles uh, of signals which consistent with the experimental results. That means when the ultrasonic wave propagates uh, parallel to the forging directions, a large um, backscattering noise is generated. On the other hand, when the ultrasonic wave propagates the perpendicular directions, significant noise doesn't generate. As a result, it is considered that our computer simulation technique can be used to predict the backscattering noise generated from the beta forged titanium parts. This is the concept of the process design regarding the ultrasonic detectability. For the simulation, uh, provide shape, shape of each grains after forging operation. This information is transferred to the ultrasonic simulation, as I mentioned the previous page, and the backscattering noise is predicted. When it, it, this noise is an unaccepted, unacceptable level, level we can go back to the uh, reconsider the uh, initial conditions like die, die and design and preform design or process conditions. And again, again, predict the, see if the noise reduced or not. It keeps the continue until the noise reduces the acceptable level. At this trial, 
processing window of mechanical property has to be taken into account so that mechanical property and ultrasonic detectability are optimized. The process design regarding ultrasonic detectability is applied to production scale parts. Type 6246 alloy material were closed dry forged in the beta region. After machining into sonic shape, ultrasonic inspection was carried out. There are general appearance of parts. And the shape of these two parts are not exactly the same, but very similar. The outer diameter were approximately 700 millimeter, and the thickness of the inspection area was approximately 50 millimeter. Uh, C scan image and the corresponding A scan image of two parts are shown. It is clearly seen that as a result of the pro process design, the generating noise enabled to be lowered. It was concluded that it arose as a provided forging part with lower backscattering noise, which means higher reliability. It is my conclusion. Kobe steel is an integrated manufacturer of titanium forgings from melting process to final products. And we have essential technologies to provide high quality titanium forgings, such as forging simulation, diet design, process design. Beside mechanical properties, ultrasonic detectability is required for critical parts in an aircraft engine. It is well known that ultrasonic testing for titanium alloy forgings is difficult because ultrasonic backscattering noise due to uh, this is because ultrasonic backscattering noise due to microstructural feature can mask reflection from defects. This talk introduced the outline of our technologies to improve the ultrasonic detectability of titanium forgings.